just said, look at you little honey. And then I said, just take it off. Just take it off. My little old shoes could get in them. I said, Mom, take them off. And I said, Lord, I feel so bad. I said, and when I said that, he said, take the earrings off too. And then I knew something. I said, Lord, I feel so bad. I said, Mom, take them off. And then I knew something. I come to fight. Because when a woman gets ready to really fight, she's taking it off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I love you, Lord. Yeah. Oh, that head 
the blood is right. Yes, Hallelujah. Who are you representing? Amen. And we're going to get ready. We're going to go on into this word and we're going to walk, talk, and we're going to pour down some stuff. But see, the thing about it, I'm ready. All right. All right. Amen. I'm, I'm ready. Amen. I am ready. Yeah. Yeah. Lord. Jesus. Tonight, that's what I come to do. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing that I want you to know is you got to show up for the fight. Come on now. That's right. You got to show up for the fight. Yep. That's why God posed a question to you. Who are you representing? Because you got to show up for the fight to bring out that in you that stands strong in him. Mm. Yeah. Have mercy, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God, yeah, God. I have not myself who have apprehended. Yeah, yeah. But this one thing, yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I forget all yeah. the stuff. Yeah, that's behind. <laughs> Whether it was success or failure. Yeah. I've got to put it all behind me. Whether it was pain or joy. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be put behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I don't put it behind me, I can't get in the yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 It's already a press. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't forget those that has held you all this time. You can't even get in the press. <laughs> and you can't press looking down. Because no. right. 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 I believe it said you were pressing toward the mark. Come on now. And if I'm going toward the mark, I need to say, Focus. Focus. I've got to stay focused. And as I stay focused, I got to. Got to do it. Amen. Listen, we're about there. We're about there. We're about there. I know I'm like a church. I would never come up being like y'all know on the scripture. Amen. But I do need you to anoint my hands and my feet. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And no, y'all just don't know what you're supposed to do. You grab a scripture. Grab a scripture. Reach out. That's what you do when you in something you can't you can't quite figure it out. Grab a scripture. Amen. Mm, God always knows. I need that. I submit unto you. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I was on my knees, God. I give it all to you, God. When you wave your hand, and you wave your When you forget everybody else is next to you. Yes, yes, yes. And then you can hear somebody say, let's go way back. Way back. Way back. Way back. Hallelujah. I tell you, I'm excited about what God is doing tonight. Amen. He's excited about what he did on last night. Amen. Because he come up in here and showed himself to be faithful. Amen. I tell you, the truth, he just cut the book on all of us. Amen. 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 Amen.
painful. Mm -hmm. But yet you're going to want to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Now we got that right. Mm -hmm. Now we got that right. Mm -hmm. But then somewhere, spiritual wickedness stepped in. That's true. And what was supposed to be the prey has now become the honor. Mm -hmm. I hear her because see, God, God wants to. God said it's not good that man be alone. Mm -hmm. And that ain't even where I want to go, but I want to tell you this so you can think you got to abide in the scripture. It is not good that you be alone. He knows that. But he said that if a man find you, yeah. he finds a good wife. Yes. But if you let him find you, he'll also find favor. But if you go out and hunt him, your favor, come on. Come on now. 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 Come on. God is not a man that he should lie. Is that not scripture? I got these preachers right now. That's scripture. So if he give favor to you on your relationship and you don't win and hunt this man down. Okay. Something wrong with this God. Because yes. he said he was my God. He said heaven and earth will pass away for one dollar two of my word be found to yes. 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 So I just need to do that. Because what I want us to see is what about this word thing? See, because we are so busy thinking that this work thing is just physical work. Sure it is. But before you can be prosperous in physical work, you've got to do the spiritual work. Yeah, yeah, amen. Amen. And that's hard work. Yeah, yeah. That's hard work. Uh -huh. It's hard work to find enough scriptures where you'll stop running behind y'all. Uh -huh. Come on. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's, that's true. true. Yes, it is. That's mm -hmm. real. That's real tough. Because the Bible said you're going to want him. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want him. I'm in the book. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm in the book. Amen. Mm -hmm. You go on, go on and spread. You know, keep whacking your apple male ego because we coming at it in a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> truth of the word of God, then we can't have the things that God is telling us we can have. We can't walk in the fullness of it. If we don't walk in the truth of it, yeah. we can't yeah. fix it for ourselves. Yeah. We can't make it better. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? No, God forbid. And I ain't talking about drinking beer. Uh -uh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm talking about can you keep trying to work what? Let's make a deal with Jesus. Uh -huh. God God said that he can't be tempted by sin, uh -huh. so therefore he would tempt no man by sin. sin. So why is you up here trying to play Ed McMahon and all this mess with God? Uh -huh. Come on. He's not tempted by that. God is only moved by your faith. 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 What is faith? Faith is, we run the Hebrew, faith is the substance. Well, what is substance? Uh, right. That's just the things I see. What is the things I see? The Lord. The things, things, see? Things, that things that are not seen. Oh, Jesus. That are not seen. And see what I want you to see. We repeated a scripture that we've not sat down with. Come on. Come on. Shall I find faith? Come on. See, now I know why the Lord said that if they'll try to do something in your feet, that's all right. I'm, I'm going to tread on the thread, the head of the head. I'm going to tread on the head of the head. That's a favorite, faith scripture for the body of Christ. Faith is it. Now, you know, did y'all all say faith is it. Then they find out they throw it away now. And now we go back and we pick up now. Now, faith is Spent five years talking about now. Yeah. And everybody else still walking in, it gonna happen. Mm. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come on. What is substance? Now faith is. But we know. We say, well, what is faith? We say substance. Well, what is your substance? The word of God. Come on. Come on. Do you do that? The word of God. You're mad, you're apple male. That's the if 
if, if the system, the system is whatever the components is made of, what we're putting together. So what is our system? What have been our system since we, the word, we've been putting that word. The substance of faith is the word. The word of God being put together. There's no need to have substance if you're not putting it together with it. Listen, 
because he said that a, I'm talking in the world, y'all see y'all. Uh -huh. He said that a father can give you houses and land, uh -huh. but only God can give a man a good. So if God is the one that gives the good woman, He's the one that sets the criteria, right? right. right. So therefore, I need to go in the Word to find out what God is saying. I need to be so that He will get His Son and look my way. Amen. to realize that we picked each other. Thank you, Lord. Keep it real. Come on. Thank you, Lord. And man, we are good performing That's together. Good. That's, good. That's good teach. Come on. I mean, the dynamic duo. <laughs> good. But for 35 years, we worked together to make things happen for people. Yeah. But yeah. we couldn't make things happen for us. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Because we was in love, but we didn't like each other. I mean, I want you to say, you can actually love. I would you had to really deal with me like that. Because I'm like, God, love is the highest form of innocent. He said, Yeah, you love him. He said, But you always loving each other with a God love. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But when it came down to errors, you know. I'm going to throw something at you now. Anytime you can stay away from somebody six, seven, months, years, that ain't Aaron's love. That's a God paid love. Right, right. Yeah. And I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about doing right. See, people say, when you do right, you do right. <laughs> yeah, you do right. What you love? Yeah, I love him, but I love God more. That's why I was doing right. That's right, amen. Because I love God. Amen. Let me get my business off this table. Amen. Amen. I, Amen. I, Amen. I, Amen. I, Amen. I just don't want you to go out because you can do that. And listen, I, I was a good man in the church girl all my life. Come on. I'm a little bit of church girl. I, I, I was told this Bible when I met him. But I did not know that God has a standard yeah. 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 for His daughters of Zion yeah. Yeah. that they need to meet and become before He puts them with His son. And since we are so busy running behind the Son of God, to we not take a time to get to know His Father because of the fact that we live in a society where parents don't have nothing to say about who they children marry. I know that's right. That's true. I got nothing to say about it. But if we were in a society where you actually have to pass by wow. daddies and mamas to prove up, you would be a... Ooh. Ooh, Jesus, I love your Lord God. Mm. But he put them stop jumping when he be able to touch the corner of the side. Amen. Come on. But because of the way our society has brought yeah. us up, and we bought into the world system. Ooh. Now, see, I'm telling you now, not the earth, the world system. Because the world system says you got rights. Right. The world system says when you get 19, you grown. And when you're 21, you bona fide grown. But they say you're legal. Mm. They grown. <laughs> <laughs> Legally grown. <laughs> but the Bible says as long as there is an elder over you that breathes, you ain't grown. Amen. You can't fight. Amen. If your daddy is living, you can't think. Mm -hmm. Unless you're 
I'll let you run in the past. It's valuable. Yeah. Yeah. But you want to run in the past the brother died down on the corner. Don't know nothing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you ain't doing that, is you? <laughs> 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 mm. Mm. Maybe the substance of these hope of the evidence of things not seen, but that's not where I'm going. I am actually going, where am I going, Lord? Here I'm going. I'm actually going to James 2. But that was a long introduction, but I'm going to get you out of good time. Amen. I got a couple more minutes. Take your time. Amen. Wow. Listen to the Apple Mail. <laughs> James. 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 Uh, New Testament. Over there, you know, after Hebrew, Hebrews. Yes. You know that one out with them scriptures y'all like to talk about all the time? I mean, James. Yeah, I'm looking at Hebrews and I was looking at Abraham and Hebrews. James chapter 2, 14. What does it profit, my brothers, if someone say he has faith but does not have, hmm, what's that dirty word? Words. Words. Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily bread, and one of you say to them, Depart in peace, be warm and feel, but you do not give them the things which they are in need for the body, what does it profit? Does also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But, you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works faith was made perfect and the scripture was fulfilled which says Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Likewise, were Rahab the harlot also justified by works when she received the messenger and sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. Beautiful. Now let's deal with our issue. James, an old apostle of Jesus Christ, he walked with him. I need to give you his background because see, you think we're talking to somebody that don't know nothing. <laughs> James was there, and you, you, you don't see him bubbling up everywhere because James had wisdom. Mm -hmm. James had wisdom. He had sense enough to sit and listen and not re just react from what he felt, but he wanted to know what this thing was all about. So then James writes to us, and he said, Now everybody's talking about faith. Everybody want to have faith. I got faith. I got faith. I believe in God for something. And you ain't moving. You ain't moving. And you then we'll say, well, God promised us this and that and other. But what you do? What are you doing? What are you doing to move toward the promise? Right. See, that we go back and we look, amen, at the, at the witnesses that he gave here. And I'm, I'm starting from the bottom and I'm working way back. He said, now you have to take and look at Rahab the harlot. Mm -hmm. who, who by her faith did the works. Now, I want you to see something. Faith and work was working that together because if you go back and read about Rahab and Joshua, you're going to find out the first thing that Rahab told the spy is that I heard about Charles. Uh, yes, she did. Mm. That's right. Yes, she did. She heard. Now, faith come about what? Hearing. Hearing of what? Now let me back up. I'm going to tell you something. 
not giving y'all a, a license to say no, no, no. But I want you to see something. Rahab was still a harlot. Yeah. She had faith in their God. Yeah. But she was still See, because I don't want you all to leave here saying that Sister Ella said I can keep smoking crack and drinking beer. Because that's not what I'm saying. Because that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is this. If you get the word about this God we serve, as I believe you've gotten this week. Amen. You hold to that word. You abide in that word. And as you move towards those things that will set you free, God will allow your faith then to come in with your works and make this thing happen. Because she had heard about their God. Yes. And Rahab was an uptown hoe. I want y'all to know that now. Because if you go back, they said her house was up in the wall of the city. Yes. And she was... She had been called a cow, oh, what a call girl. Uh -huh. And she wasn't bad and great. No, no, she wasn't. Sister girl enough money to keep her whole family in her house. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. See, so she would make, oh, why are you bring that to She was making a good living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wasn't bad and great. But she heard and believed of their God. The things that she heard about how their God would deliver, how their God would show up with a high hand for them, that their God was a God of war, that their God wasn't scared of nobody, and their God would beat up anybody else with God. Their God would say, bring it on. <laughs> so when the spies came to Rahab's house, Rahab did not look at her condition. She looked at the position that God was putting her in.
But there yeah. is a process. Yes, yes, it, is. Is. it is. I know about your God. Uh huh. But see, I ain't got the full detail. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. God will honor you where you are. Right. Yes. That's right. Where you? But you got to stay. Abide, 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 abide. So we can finish doing the work. Yes. 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 That's it. Mm -hmm. You said, well, Pastor, where did that come in? Because if you go to Matthew, mm -hmm. run down that long line of them crazy names. Right there. 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 Yeah. 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 But what got her in? She put her in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> her face. Both. 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 Both.
and he hasn't given you all the details. But if you abide in him and trust him, you will yeah. know that somewhere down the line, he will find you. Oh, he done showed you in the big picture. The big picture look real good. But he had told you how to put the pieces all together. You're looking at the box. And then you open the box and them thousand pieces and little pieces. Uh, <laughs> it is without the word, eh? Mm. Mm. But Abraham goes on up the mountain. And he gets halfway up the mountain and he tells his servant, Y'all go on back. Mm. See, this was the first evidence of his prayer and his belief in God. Mm. When he said, Y'all go on back. Because I'm going yonder to pray. Yes. In other words, he was getting rid of anything that could stop him. Because up until then, they were his servant. But when they got halfway up that mountain, they became his enemy. Because they were in a position to stop him from doing the will of God. And don't you know if they were Abraham's servant, they were Sarah's servant too. And they know they were trying to go back to that house. And they could not go back to the house without Cyrus. Baby. 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 Ooh. Ooh. See, y'all got to see the picture. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. They couldn't go back with that. So he said, now y'all go, go back. Y'all stay here. Because I'm going yonder to pray. And here Isaac goes up the hill behind his father. You know, whistling Dixon. And I know somewhere up there, he like in the Vinicius and the Ryan, he like Prince somewhere up that line. He wants up where the stove we both at. <laughs> 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 he asked. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that Abraham explained to him that God would provide. Yeah. But I often wonder, was the ram already there? Or did the ram show up when he pulled out the knife? Mm. That's a good question. Now if the ram came when he pulled out the knife, well why are you stopping right at the door? Mm. Why do you stop at the door and pass the book? Why is you not stepping through the door, Abigail? Sydney. But because Abraham's faith caused him to move and do the work, because he believed that even if I, I mean he had to think, even if I have to kill him, God gonna raise him back again. you serve. So, Pastor, why did you have to tell us this? Because we would get the tendency at the 13th hour to stop believing. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody can believe to the 12th hour. Right. Come on. But who can believe the 13th hour? Come on. See, because that's what happened with Abraham. Abraham had to believe to the 13th Same energy. 
Yeah. Amen. I'm about to. Mm. I'm about to. I'm about to. Ah, what I need you to realize is that James talks about a series of things before he gets over here and tells you your faith without your works is dead. Okay, he goes on, he said it. At, now, one of the things he said is you can't tame your tongue. Mm-hmm. He said, you got to learn how to shut your mouth before you even start trying to exercise some faith. Whoa, Jesus. You got to learn how to shut your mouth. True. You ain't got to say something about everything. You know, sometimes you need to do, do we know do we as the body of Christ know what it is to choose our battles? Just got to fight everything that comes before you. And then when it's time to fight in the spirit, you can't fight in the spirit because you've been wrestling so in the flesh. All right. Woo! Come on. Jesus, mm-hmm. shut your mouth. Uh-huh. Learn to shut your mouth. He said, if any man can kick, So he's able to control the whole. Do you know that is a truth? If you can shut your mouth, your hand don't have to fight. That's right. Amen. That's right. Your feet won't have to walk. <laughs> if you can shut your mouth, <laughs> you don't have to bob and weave if you can shut your mouth. That's if you got to learn to shut your mouth. Then you can work out your faith. Because faith is not faith if it doesn't have some little some some going on with it. That's what I want us to get. Amen? Mm-hmm. It's got to have some self with it. And then he goes on to tell him that now. I'm just that little bit. He got on that thing. I'm going to show you this. Then we're going to go and we're going to do whatever God said do. Because, amen, I'm feeling better already. I feel all the sweat is gone. Amen. 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 He said, you got to be a doer of the word and not a hero on I'm not thinking of you. You just in a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a doer. Of the word and not a hearer only. So before you can put works with your faith, you got to start doing. If God said, Ooh. I can't think of one command of God that would just really be easy to operate in with what I've, I've watched happen around here. You know, I, Amen. I wanted to say honor, honor thy father and mother that thy lives may be longer for them. But see, I, I have a hard time you, you doing that because of the fact that I, I mess around and watch the news. Amen. So that tells me that that commandment is not quite being abided in. Uh-huh. Well, how you say that? You ain't seen all these children now, but the man at the bar has. So that tells me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Somebody ain't honoring. Because that's a commandment with a... Oh. Well, you know what? Here's how I am because he said, Be ye doers and not hearers. Only they're doers that I ain't going to do what mom and them say they do it. <laughs> so, you yeah, yeah. I'm saying that right. So, they go on and die. Right. That sounds cool, but it's true. That's right. right. You are still walking out that word. But see, the Bible is teaching us, be ye doers and not hearers only. Because you are here tonight. You were here last night and you heard directly from God. You're here tonight and you hear God use me as a vessel to speak to you. But the question is, what you going to do with what you heard? Yes. Yes. He said, be ye doers of this word and not hearers only. That's right. Now, here is only. And, and you know, and praise God, praise God. Because you know the, the, the thing that uh, they that dwell is. Then in Isaiah they say, uh, they that wait upon the Lord. Share what? Really? Really? So you know what? I, I, I ask myself, 
renew my strength. I'm going to renew my strength. I'm going to renew my joy and my hope. You know, my expectation is going to be renewed, right? right, right, right. That's that. If I wait on him. Okay, now, what do I wait on him at? I mean, you, you, I, I don't know why. Come on, come on. What? What? Well, how am I wait on this faith? What brings my faith? What brings my faith? The word. The word. And word is mixed up together. If I'm coming in this word, then what is going to make me do? It's going to give you the mind of Christ. It's going to give me the mind of Christ. What, what mind of Christ do I need in, in, in the earth? To constantly identify with his, with his prophets and his saints. Constantly identify with his what now? His prophets and his saints. With his prophets and his saints. Okay, I identify with the prophet and say, when I identify with the prophet and say, you say, you know, daddy got to wear the lady egg. <laughs> so they're being persecuted. The righteousness. I'm, look, I'm looking for an excellent strategy in the Lord. You're looking for an excellent strategy in the Lord, in the Word. Right. What we're going to do with it when we get it? See, I'm going to put it out because I still ain't got You're going to walk it out. How are you going to walk it out? Walking out in faith under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He was what? Walking out in faith under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Walking out in faith under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's right. But I got to be mindful of what it is that I'm going toward, so I know what I'm walking. Mm -hmm. See, because I want you to see something here. Prayer. Good. That's right. Guidance. That's right. She'll come here and get a revelation. And God would speak to her about something. And the prophet would then you know, prophesy to give a confirmation about it. And now she should have God's going to do it. And she'll go right home, sit down, and wait for it to happen. <laughs> then she'll go in and start praying. That's all right. <laughs> Then she'll set aside a fast. Come on. Set aside a fast about it. It's already done. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And then she'll finally decide to get up and find a scripture in that book that she can stand on. But everything I've just named has not got her out the door, down the steps, moving toward it. Oh, praise God. That's what we do. Praise God. Now you wonder, did God hear me? He heard you. He said, did you hear me? Yeah. Yes. 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 He told that I am. I'm finna hurt. He told Joshua them that I'm going to give you cake. He told them, he told Moses, he went on board back as to tell Abraham. Abraham got it first and it came down all those generations. You gonna have Caleb. It's yours. 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 Oh yeah, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Joshua then went over there and he said, it's yours. They got the grapes and the pomegranate. Oh, it's yours. And then they came back and told Moses, oh, we gonna have grass. Then they got Alright. 
If you want to stay here, this ain't the promise, but if you want to stay here, fine. If you want to settle for second base, what I'm trying to get you to do, you done sit up there and put all your faith in it. You done prayed and had everybody praying and slopping and going hungry for this and then you gonna sit up here, find you the nerve to go down to go <laughs> and then you gonna get that and settle? Yeah. You gonna settle. You gonna settle. You you gotta settle for less, cause we will settle for good instead of going on and getting the best that God has. Yes, yes. And you don't use all of this energy. Come on. You don't be hungry. Let the name of Jesus. Then if you gonna be hungry for three days, what difference does it make to go another hour to say, God, is you sure is here? <laughs> If it's not plain, then I need to go one more hour so you would make this thing plain. If you done been through the process this far, yeah. Yeah. why get right at the door after you done suffered and settled for less? Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Come on. See, but that's what Bishop did. But you know what, what I like about Joshua? Joshua was a smart old. He said, all right, set up your tents. We're going to sit right here while y'all get your family all set up and we'll do Now, all you men, all you alpha males, you going to come and help everybody fight to get what was promised them. Yeah. And here, Benjamin, you know how you know about your man. Hey, we with you. He said, I know you here, but y'all going to walk in front of us. It's <laughs> <laughs> with them. Y'all yeah. going to walk in front of us so that I'll know where you at. Mm. Mm. I like that you're real. But we living in a generation now where you need to tell your ass man, oh, you're going to have to get in front of me. Mm -hmm. And you, I don't care if the girl over there tell you must be living in China. That's all right. You don't see the man like man talking to a Japanese woman. <laughs> 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 Just in case it don't work out like it's supposed to, I need you here to fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Put them out there. Yeah. But they went to walk toward the promise. This is what I want you to see. They had the opportunity to get the promise. Forties, no, almost seventy years earlier. Because they were right there in the room, it's probably a, about seventy years old. They had the opportunity to get that promise. But because they didn't abide, abide in the promises that had been told to them from generation to generation to generation to generation. The word that was being taught to them because they didn't abide in it. They wanted to sit there and have God to hand them something. And see, this is, and I declare for the because I hear the Holy Ghost say, this is what's one of the things that's wrong with this generation is we get too much stuff free. Come on now. Woo! Faith and trick. Faith and trick ain't good. Because after he, listen, after he got them out of the Egypt thing, God was giving them clothes, shoes, and manna and water. So when it came time to cross over and fight for what was rightfully theirs, you been fighting? How I mean, you can't provide us with this now? <laughs> You've been taking care of me. Why can't you keep taking care of me? But when somebody takes care of you, you're limited to your resources. But when you decide to believe God, walk in his word and take care of self. Then you get a car, you get the house, you get the cell phone, and yeah. clothes, and you get... But when somebody else take care of you, they won't let you have a house. Ah! Uh, oh, that's right. See, she know. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she, she knows she has fighting against spiritual wickedness. Please uh-huh. pay attention. I praise her. She knows. And see, where well, I want y'all to ride and say, when are you going to get sick of that?